Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Patience. To my existing subscribers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. In today's video, I am going to be using two palettes to create this gorgeous smoky eye. One of those palettes is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. This is a gorgeous palette and it has all of those shades in it that we want when it comes to having the options to create this type of look. This is a gorgeous palette. I also paired the Urban Decay Smoky Palette with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette as well. This is a palette that has been out for quite some time. You can pick this up at Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I'm sure you can find it on sale someplace. But this is a gorgeous palette because it is specifically designed so that you can have those colors that you need to create those highs and lows or those contours in an eye look without adding color to it, if you know what I mean. But this palette paired very well with this Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette and again it did help me to create this gorgeous eye look. So if you guys would like to see how I created this look then keep watching. My face has been moisturized and I used the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer to prime my face and I also used the Anastasia Beverly Hills to prime my eyes. I'm going to use this highlighter from Becca. This highlighter is in the color or shade Rose Gold, and I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight. And I'm going to go into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm going to use this shade right here. This shade is called Succubus, and I'm going to use this shade as my transition shade. And now I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette and I'm going to use this shade right here. This shade is called Whiskey and I'm going to apply this in my crease area but just a little bit above my natural crease line. And now I'm going to use my P. Louise eyeshadow base. This is in a shade called Bata Black. This is a black eyeshadow base. And I'm going to use this brush. This is the brush that actually came with the Bata Black eyeshadow base from P. Louise. I'm going to place this Bata Black P. Louise eyeshadow base on my lid. So I placed a little bit of this eyeshadow base on the back of my hand. And I'll work with it from here. I really like the fact that P. Louise gave me a brush to use with this Bata Black black eyeshadow base. But I'm just going to place this on my lid and I am going to stick with the natural shape of my eyelid. So normally when I'm creating an eye look because I have slightly hooded eyes I have to take this up a little bit higher than my natural crease line. But for this black I am going to place this pretty much spot on with where my eyelid crease is. I want to make sure I get down on that lash line really good. Make sure it's nice and even, meaning I don't have any gaps or spaces on the lid. So I know this is looking pretty scary at this point, but it's going to be beautiful once we're all done. Pretty scary, right? I'm going back to the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette, and I'm going to use this shade right here, and this shade is called Black Market, and I'm going to place this on top of where I have applied the Bata Black P. Louise eyeshadow base. 
I'm using my Morphe 706 brush to do this. And I'm just patting this on. I'm not swiping it, just patting it right on top of where I have applied that black eyeshadow base. And now I'm going back into the shade Whiskey once again. That is that shade right here. And I'm gonna use a small blending brush. I'm gonna use Whiskey just to soften out the edges of where I have applied this black. And I'm starting with the outer edge here. And I'm just taking this right up against where I have applied that darker shade. Just softening that edge just a little bit. I'm gonna blow it out just a little bit as well. Ooh, she got smoky quick, didn't she? And I'm going back to the Kat Von D shade and light palette, and I'm going back to this shade right here. This shade is called Succubus, and I'm gonna add a little bit more of this color into this look. I don't wanna lose this, but it's gonna be very high just to blend all of this together and to give me a little bit more color, just a little bit. I don't wanna lose this shade. So I know this looks a bit scary right now, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm going to keep going. But a smoky eye, it's a very bold type of look. It is definitely not for the faint of heart. I'm going to add my liner and my lashes. My liner and my lashes are done. And I did not do a wing liner because with a smoky eye, especially a black smoky eye, adding a wing liner is like, why because you're really not going to be able to see it that much but anyway i've done some color correcting using my kevin aquan sensual skin enhancer in the shade sx14 around my mouth and i'm also using my tatcha pearl in the shade candlelight under my eyes and i am going to use two of the concealers from makeup revolution i've got two shades of this concealer one is in the shade c10 and the other is in c12 so i'm going to add this product under my eyes down the bridge of my nose anywhere that i would like to highlight and conceal i'm starting with the c12 first this is the shade that's going to be closest to my skin tone not quite as light as the C10, but I am going to go in with the C10 as well, just to give me a nice brightened look. And if I remember correctly, this concealer may dry down rather quickly, so I'm going to go ahead and start blending it out now before I move on to the other areas on my face. And I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of the C10, just right in here to give me just a little bit more brightening right in this area here.
I'll take a sponge and just soften that up just to make sure it's blending in the way I need it to. And now I'm going to do some contouring, some cream contouring, and I'm going to use this concealer. This concealer is from Maybelline, and I do believe it's a part of their Fit Me line or the Fit Me collection. So I'm going to use this just to add a little bit of dimension around my cheekbones, temples, forehead, and a little bit more dimension back into my face. And I almost forgot to set my under eye and I am going to use my RCMA no color powder to set all the areas where I have applied the concealer. Don't want to forget to set that under eye cause girl, we would have been in trouble. Cause uh, on my mature skin, it is imperative that I set my concealer in this under eye area. Otherwise my concealer will start to settle into my fine lines and we don't want that. That's better. And now it's time for my complexion and I'm going to be using my Temp2 Air to apply my MAC Basin Body Foundation. I'm in the shade C7. I'm going to apply some blush. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to highlight. Normally I would go back in with a little bit more bronzer. That's what I really like about the MAC Face and Body Foundation is that it goes on so light, but yet it does give you coverage. Right now, as you can see, you can still see where my face is warmed up around the perimeter and also here in my cheekbone area just from the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer that I used. This concealer right here. This is from Maybelline and this is what I used to warm up my face and it's showing through under this foundation perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to highlighter. I'm gonna go back in with this RCMA No Color Powder and I'm gonna use this to set my entire face. I'm not using a lot, just a little bit. Just a very little bit. And now I'm going back to the Naked Smoky palette and I'm going to use Black Market which is this shade right here and I'm also going to use Whiskey which is this shade right here to smoke out my waterline. Very pretty. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm going back to the Becca highlighter in Rose Gold. This is the highlighter that I used as my brow bone highlight, and I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight as well. And I'm using my little Artiste brush again to do this. This brush works well for popping that highlighter right there in that inner corner. It's the perfect size, hits it just right. And I'm moving on to lips and I'm going to line my lips with the MAC Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Night Moth. And I'm also going to use one of the Pat McGrath Labs Mini Lipsticks. This is in, I believe it's called Flesh 03. Very nice color. And this look is done. The Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette was made specifically for this type of look. It's a palette that gives you all of those deep, dark, smoky types of eyeshadows that you need to create this bold look. I think that the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette did come in, however, and help me to save the day because this palette is known for having all of those natural contour types of shades that you would want to create or that you would want to use to create an eye look. So I was able to use one of the shades out of the Shade and Light Palette to really pull this eye look together. I think it turned out beautifully. I hope you guys like this video. 
And if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.